Hey. Good afternoon, we're now about to do another tutorial. Today, I am going to go through the helix. The helix here. I'm going to draw a right hand square section spring. So to do this, we are going to have to draw two circles and we are going to divide the circles into 12 equal um, segments. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. And uh, let's start. I'm going to set up somewhere around here. Okay, cool. So first thing is I get my circle. Let's specify the radius so that we can start off. I'm going to use 35. 35 is my first one. And then we need a second circle. I'm going to use a bigger radius for this one. So I'm going to use something like 50. Yeah, 50 is a good number. Right. Now the real I'm going to be projecting this, I'm going to project it upward so that you guys can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide the circle into 12 pieces using my 60-30 set square. And divide. Just trying to make sure I get um get the camera capturing all this. That's why it was a little bit unsettled at first. Um, so now, now I've divided my circle into 12 pieces using the 60-30. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to number all the points. And this is easy. You start here at 12, or you can start at zero and you go down one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then the inner ones, I'm going to label them the same time too. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this is 12. So right now I'm going to create what we need is a pitch. And I'm starting my pitch here and my pitch is going to be, let's see, what's a good size to put this pitch at? I'm going to put the pitch at 15 centimeters. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm just changing how I have the T-square. I think find it easier to draw like this because of where the camera is located. So that's my picture. Alright. I'll label that as pitch. And this is our pitch. Pitch. Okay. Next thing now what we're gonna do. We're gonna divide the pitch into 12 pieces using the construction line technique. This is a construction line, so I'm gonna call it CL. Construction line. For that we open the compass to a suitable size. That's a suitable size here. 
and then I'm going to make 12 strokes on this line, this construction line, or better known as the imaginary line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. All right. I'm going to number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now, the 12th line attaches to the end of the pitch. This is the end of the picture. This is the beginning. Beginning, end. We started here. Now we need to attach the 12 point to the pitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trap. Trap back. To find each of these divisions on the actual line. So we're transferring from the construction line to the rail line. That's what I'm doing here. We got our 12 points from the construction line, transfer them to the rail line. Now, make the horizontal divisions of the pitch. Here. This is the first time I'm actually drawing with a T square upside down. Normally um, I use the T square on the left hand side. So I'm gonna advise you guys to do this. Okay, so now let's have a look at what we have so far. We have the circle, two circles, and we have the pitch. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna send the points, the divisions on the circles up through the pitch to create the grid, okay? I'm gonna put back the piece very normal for this one and just send these lines up. So the first thing, the nine and the third line are already up, so we don't have to worry about those and the center line, which is 12. So I'm just going to extend the center line. And let's start here. So I'm looking at two on this side and two on that side that are saying that. 10 and 11, lines 10 and 11. Also line 10 is the same as line eight. Point 10 and point eight are the same. Point seven and point 11 are the same. Similarly, points one and point five are the same. And points two and point four are also the same here. So now I have sent my lines from the circle up through the pitch. So now, what's next to do? It's time for us now to, to plot. Start here. So we're gonna go like this, right? First one, second, third point, fourth point, fifth point. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Then we dance and go all the way back up. Wow. 
just freehand this. That's your first curve. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a second string. A second, yeah, a second spring line. My second spring line is now going to be offsetted one distance. So this is where we started. Now we're going to start here at this point. I'm just going to emphasize so you guys viewing can watch, can see and understand. So I'm just transferring and starting at this point and going around the curve. So that means I'm going to end somewhere over there. So I can put in that distance. I'm going to take the distance here, the average distance of one, and I'm going to put point there. I'm just going to put two extra points. And then just call it those. Back on track now. Let me just extend these lines so that we can have a, an extended grid, which is necessary for this second phase. So I'm just starting, I'm just transferring everything that started here, here, and following the same path. So if one starts here, that means two would be here. So for these second secondary points, I'm going to put them in as a small circle on the notes. I use a dot here, I'm going to use a small circle so it's just to differentiate for viewing purposes. Oops, I didn't go through that node. What's wrong with me? So that's it. So that's the second line now that's in. So now this is where we're going to use the inner circle. We're now going to start dealing with the inner circle. We have done the outer circle. Now it's time to do the inner circle. Similarly, we're going to send lines from the inner circle through the through the pitch. So that's what I'm going to do now at this stage. That's eight and ten. Seven and eleven. And guys, I'm doing all this with a 4H pencil. Four and two, and then three. And on this side, nine. So where do we start off this? We start our here, this is our first start. And we are going to these inner lines. So just forget the major lines from the major circle, just deal with the lines from the minor circle now. So that's the first one. That's the second one. And for this I'm going to use squares. Small little squares to just differentiate the marks. And I'm going down on the nodes. Let me pass through the notes, sorry.
So I think I found all the points. I'm just going to go through these now, very light. We need one more now to complete this and we're going to start so we've done here we started here with the dots then we went to here with the small circles then we went here with the squares the small squares now we're going to use the x to represent this path x x So now we have put in the X's, so the X's are in, the squares are in, the circles are in, and the dots are in. Let me just, let's, let's have a look at this. This part here will be hidden. This will be behind. This is the freehand part now, take your time. When you guys are attempting this. Yep. Whoa. 
a nice little curve there. I'm actually proud of my free hand skills for this video though. <laughs> This now is our edge. Remember, this demonstration is called Helix Spring. Okay, now the time to darken. What is what? Where is where? And how does this work? So I know this is a dark line. Oh. Going all the way down to here. And I know that this also is a dark line. Going down to there. Stops there. Continue this. This is going to there, and this comes all the way from here. This goes no, this is behind the scenes. You didn't see that. You didn't see this one, yeah. Reference in the book just to make sure I don't get anything wrong. That is going like that, which comes down to there. Yeah, okay. I see where this is going to there. Yep. This is the front face as it comes, stops there, then it continues, stops there, then this is the back that goes up and it finishes off. So this demonstration is about, about finished. This is what we call a helix spring. This is a section, a square section of a spring. That's it. I'm just going to label this, what I did. So you guys could um, scroll a helix. Square section. So before we close this off, let me just go through what was done to achieve to achieve this. Um, well first you draw two circles and you divide the circles into 12 pieces two concentric circles what I mean by that is that they both share the same axis 
Then once you've divided the circles into 12 pieces, you choose a pitch. Your pitch can be, uh, it doesn't have to be 15, it can be 20 centimeters, it can be whatever you want it. So the pitch is up to you. Whatever your pitch is, you divide that into 12 pieces. Once you divide that into 12 pieces, you actually make horizontal lines to mark the divisions. And then you take the divisions from the circle and you send them vertically to cross with the horizontal lines. So you get your grid. And once you've gotten your grid, what you're doing is you're finding a point, a start, a place which you're going to start on the outer circle, and then you're going to go through each point. On the outer circle until you get back here you start here you go down to your lower point and then you come back to the high point once you have done that the next thing to do is to repeat the same process but this time you're actually transferring this over one distance one division so you're actually copying this same process over one division once you have done that now, then you go to the inner circle and you do the same process that we did on the outer circle once and then you also copy that over one division. Once you have done that, then that's it. And that's our helix spring section. Thank you.